would be much happier right now. Yeah. And right now in the Republican primary, there's only one person running, and it's the former president. And he ran earlier than most. I'll show you a few headlines here. We haven't covered this a ton this week. I've told viewers we're going to be fair and we're going to try to be responsible in how we cover all the candidates. But here's some headlines as it is playing. Um, people trying to walk out. Ivanka Trump publicly counting herself out. She could have delayed that. She made it very clear immediately. Uh, Right-wing donors backing away. Some say it's different this time and he's weakened. Others say not so fast. Uh, you have some knowledge here. Your take for the first time tonight. My take is that if I'm a betting man today, Donald Trump will win the nomination. If I'm a betting man today, Donald Trump will lose the election. Mm. The reason I say he will lose the election, which is the important part of this, is that it's very hard for me to imagine who is going to vote for Donald Trump that didn't the last time. Converting back, yeah. Yeah, like who, is, who would vote for him that didn't previously vote for him? So the reason I think he will likely be the candidate is that, you know, here's a list I just gathered. See if you've heard of these people. See if you remember any of these people. Scott Walker, Herman Cain, Ben Carson, John Kasich, Rand Paul, Bobby Jindal, Rick Perry, and Lindsey Graham. You, have, you do remember Lindsey Graham. Those are all people who ran in 2016 the way Ron DeSantis, each of those people or most of those people had their moment in the sun, and it was a brief moment in the sun. It is nutty to me to believe that DeSantis is going to go through the next year and a half and sail through. So I think in the end, there'll be four or five or six candidates. They'll split the vote, and Trump has a base horrifically, but he has a base that I think he will draw on. So I do expect now that he will, but two years is a long time. Well, and you're